Prime Cabinet Secretary Musalia Mudavadi has called for the withdrawal of two bills by Peter Opondo Kaluma and Jeffrey Ruku, calling for the amendment of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act, terming them retrogressive. In an apparent expression of the executive's support for the Commission and other state agencies, Mudavadi said the Conflict of Interest Bill 2023, approved by Cabinet, if passed by Parliament, will help strengthen the fight against corruption. Ayub Abdikadir reports. While launching the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission Strategic Plan, Mudavadi called on the two lawmakers, Peter Pondo Kaluma and Geoffrey Ruku, to withdraw the bills he said will slow the fight against corruption and erode gains made by the anti-corruption agency. He said the proposals contained in the two bills titled Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act of 2023, if approved by the National Assembly, have the potential to reverse the progress achieved in the fight against graft. Therefore, I kindly request the two members of parliament to consider withdrawing their bills. We must remember that we can only defeat corruption if we stand together in unity of purpose and effort. The bill by Homa Bay Town MP Kaluma seeks to amend the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act of 2003 by removing the provision disqualifying individuals convicted of corruption or economic crimes from holding public office. Ruku's bill, on the other end, aims to decriminalize certain aspects of public procurement, property disposal, contract tendering and fund management and expenditure. ESCC says the bills proposed by the two legislators are dangerous for the fight against corruption, as the effect will weaken an already fragile anti-corruption legal framework. And that much hypocrisy. During the launch of its five-year strategic plan, the agency also cited understaffing as a major challenge in its operations. As you've been told, we are only about 700 people uh, who are working in ESCC. We are 45 million, 50, going to 50 million Kenyans. A significant percentage of those people are working day and night to steal our resources. 700 of us cannot stop them. Because we cannot be everywhere. Four months since coming to office, the Commission's chairperson pointed out political goodwill as the key in the fight against theft of public funds. Yesterday, I witnessed the swearing of, of the DPP. I was with the, uh, my uh, chairman, the Prime Cabinet Secretary was there, and the President talked of nothing but telling the DPP you have to work with the other agency to address this problem called corruption. In the entire speech, he was talking about corruption, corruption, corruption. The strategic plan seeks to strengthen the enforcement of existing laws. The country ranks 123 of 180, according to Transparency International Corruption Perception Index 2022. A trouble passed in the prosecution of corruption and a set of reforms that have failed to bend the corruption culture in Kenya. And the widespread nature of the vice through mismanagement of public funds has seen graft grow stepwise in Kenya, breeding incompetence, patronage and political corruption. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV, at the Kenyatta International Convention Center, Nairobi. All right, we want to take you to 